Okay, here's, we've got all this firepower up here, so I get to ask the questions. I might respond a little bit as we, uh, as we go through this. Maybe, Ed, I'll start with you. you. You worked up on the Hill. I think one of the things that surprised me this year is the extent to which the Congress has been responsive, listened listen to and been responsive to some of our concerns. Leadership on the Democratic side and the Republican side. And I, I guess that maybe I'd ask you to look forward. We talked about looking forward. Look forward a little bit and, think, and, and talk a little bit about where we are now, whether the election changed anything, and what we might hope to see in terms of congressional support next year on some of our key issues. Well, I think part of the reason that we have seen some support from Capitol Hill is because it's clear that in this recession, the number one policy issue is jobs. Uh, creating jobs is critically important to every member of Congress. It's on the mind of all of the constituents. And I think what we've been able to do as a collective community is get the message to Capitol Hill that general aviation does mean jobs. Uh, it means jobs for pilots. It means jobs for people uh, in manufacturing facilities. It means jobs at FBOs. It means jobs for controllers. It means jobs in education, jobs in insurance, jobs in finance, jobs in advertising, jobs in publications. And I think that they're beginning to see this really is a critical U.S. industry. General aviation really matters. General aviation serves America. And so I think it's, uh, it's an exciting time to see the support growing and building on Capitol Hill and, and seeing people <coughs> begin to want to be identified with our industry. People saying, we'll start a caucus. Uh, I want to be part of that. I want to join. I want people to know that I recognize the value of this industry. And I think that gives us an opportunity, once that's been established, that we're about jobs, about economic uh, opportunity, about mobility, it gives us an opportunity to really uh, uh, make further progress. And I think that's our challenge, is to take advantage of the momentum. Great. Jim, you got your hands on the pulse of what goes on up there. You were up there. You, you know the anxieties that elected officials have in times as the electorate sends messages, as I think they did the other night. How do you think that might affect us? How do you think they're going to look at our issues next year? Well, I think the election on Tuesday gives uh, many sitting members of Congress, I mean, use the word uh, kind of nervousness. Um, they know that the electorate is very disappointed in the economy, worried about job loss and other things. And uh, there's also a, a very substantial, uh, you know, anti things as normal kind of attitude. They want, they want positive uh, performance and change. And so the average member of Congress who might have a very secure seat, um, I think the mood is not that different. But there are probably about a, almost 100 members of the House and Senate who are very nervous right now. And they're, they're, they're afraid that if they offend uh, some important constituency, uh, it could end up to their defeat. And then that's really our greatest opportunity, because we are a united constituency. All of us together know what's so terribly important. We, we depend upon government making the right decisions. And uh, I think uh, now is a time of tremendous leverage for us all, because we can go to our members of Congress. We don't have to go with a sledgehammer, necessarily, but we can go to them with just the reality of who we are and say to them, uh, you know, we really are concerned that Congress has gotten close to making some very bad decisions, user fees and other things, and we want to know where you stand. And this is especially a good time for us to go to members of Congress. With the election, it's only literally exactly 12 months from today, and go to these men and women and say, all we want to know from you is where you stand. We don't want double talk. We don't want waffling. We want you to tell us, are you going to support aviation? Does it matter to you? And if they give us the wrong answer, this is a year for us to make sure that they get, if you will, punished for having the wrong answer. You gotta like his style. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, 
advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its VTAIL design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.